Okay, hi there. I just thought I'd do a quick video on uh, the DIY Venturis I'm making to oxygenate my tank. So I'll just quickly go through how I've made them and I've also got a demonstration over here of one running just to show you how everything works. So basically what we've got, I've got some thin pipe here, I don't know what size it is, it's about it's just over half an inch I think. Also this pipe here it's about three quarter of an inch and what I've got is T pieces they're just standard 21 mil T pieces you get from a DIY store or off your uncle if he's a plumber and the same as this 21 mil overflow pipe so basically what I've done you use the T junction here as the main part of the Venturi I've got the thinner pipe threaded through just as basically a cork section I've made of uh, the thicker pipe it's a nice tight fit it'll keep the air from coming through anyway so basically what we do we get this pipe and we jam it into the end of here so basically that acts as a cork and stops water coming back out but we've got the hole on the top but I'll come to that in a minute so as we push this through the we thread it through like this and this pipe this I'll call it a breather pipe where the air gets sucked in and mixes with the water that ends up further past the um, the nozzle here where the water will be coming in I've also got one here that's already made as a bit of a demonstration so basically this this bit here is already inserted into this one it's nice and tight it won't come out unless I really give it a good yank so we've got the arrow here that shows the direction of the water coming in from the pump so that comes in there and then also as it comes around the bend this mark here is the um, the mark where this breather pipe ends inside this T junction and it's as you can see it's past the elbow where the water comes in so the water sort of rushes round and then follows down this tube or whatever you've got it to into your tank um, so as the water comes round it creates low pressure at the bottom of the uh, the breather pipe which sucks air from the surface and mixes it with the water blowing the water and the air mixture into your tank which creates nice bubbles in your tank and oxygenates your tank so basically that's the basic venturi I've made and uh, here's the demonstration I've got here flowing around at the minute um, basically I've just got a bucket it's about 16 18 inches deep full of water and I've got it set up to a pump down here so I've got an outlet here back into the pump and this is the inlet pipe comes here and also I've just uh, got pipe in here just connecting the inlet from the pump to the venturi that I've made and also a white bit of overflow pipe with a bend on the bottom and a little nozzle I made as well so basically that's just the setup for the demonstration I just made this so I could see that they work myself and I thought I'd also make the video just to show everyone else in case they want to make one basically I've got some sponge in the top of the breather pipe here this just stops the noise of the um, the Venturi because it's they are quite noisy but they do the job and it's a lot cheaper than buying a big air pump for a, a large tank or pond or whatever you want to use it on so basically I've just got a cap on the top here so if I remove this cap it will suck the air in and I'll get bubbles coming out of my inlet into the bucket which would be a tank or a pond or what have you this is just a demo so take this nozzle off so we can hear we've got a bit of noise and if we look down we have all the bubbles coming out of this nozzle with the water flow so this will be oxygenating the tank so I'm quite pleased that they work quite well uh, they're going to be slightly deeper in the tank than this the inlets so I may not get as many bubbles but I don't think it will really matter to be honest because I've got quite a powerful pump there and it's got a good enough flow as you can see it's still quite noisy but the, the um, 
the sponge does help it a lot because if, if I take it out now you will be able to hear the noise difference without the, the sponge in and uh, that's not really the sort of noise that you want to be sitting in your front room listening to so uh, the sponge the sponge stays in the sponge stays in well, I need to put that in properly but basically that's how it works and I'm going to be having three of these set up in my tank to oxygenate it so um, that's about it thanks for watching